by the end of the session you will be aware of how we assign the data access and how we assign the roles role assignment in fusion applications let's go through this first a role is some kind of privilege that you can assign to the user allowing them to perform certain type of actions in the application roles assigned to end users define their permissions such as task assignment and whether they can perform specific task or not we use the security console to assign a specific role to an existing user or remove roles that were already assigned to the users this screen you can see this is the security console screen on the left side you will find the users option has been selected and one of the user record has been searched and you can see the username and on the bottom side you will find the list of roles assigned to this particular user and there is a cross symbol as well from by clicking on that we can remove the role and there is a add role button by which we can this highlighted you can see the arrow i have created just to highlight that add role button if you can click you can add a new role now let's see something about assign data access as well you can assign user access to appropriate data based on their job roles the oracle fusion security model requires a three way link between users roles and data it summarizes as who can do what on which data who refers to the users what are the job roles that user is assigned and which refer to the data that specific to a particular security context typically an element of the enterprise structure such as the business unit asset book ledger inventory or for example consider a user who manages accounts payable function such as processing supplier invoices for us operations business unit in this scenario user must be assigned a job role such as the predefined accounts payable manager and given access to the us operations business unit let's see what all data access context do we have the following table lists the elements of the enterprise structure to which user can be assigned access based on their job roles oracle fusion cloud financials if we have this role then what all security contexts are there business unit data access set ledger asset book control budget intercompany organization reference data set legal entity similarly if we see a role oracle fusion cloud procurement it just have the security context of business unit the third one but similarly if we go to the second one if we say oracle fusion cloud supply chain management it have different security context inventory organization reference data set cost org inventory organization manufacturing plant so these security context are based on which role you are selecting which role you are assigning here is the screen by which we provide the data access so you can see when we try to add a data access for user first column you selected which user which role then you have to select which data context and then they give the appropriate value let's go through the process of role assignment so once you log in you need to navigate then you need to go to the tools and under tools you need to go to the security console under security console you need to click on use first one of the user to whom you want to assign the role uh, let's say uh, let me try to search my name no i don't have any user in this instance so i will search scm underscore impl and click on this user and you will get to see all the assigned roles so you need to click on edit first so this will become an edit mode and then come here and click on this add role button so once you click on this add role button you roll so the role that we have created we created some xx underscore role one test so this role we created and we are assigning this role to this particular user click on done and save and close so this is the way we can assign any role to any of the users let's go through the 
process of assigning the data access, we need to click on the setting and actions. Navigate to setup and maintenance. Then select the, uh, you can select your procurement offering or any other offering. And in the search task, you need to search the data access. Once you search this task of data access, you will see data access for users, business unit data access, reference, any, you can select any of that. Click on this. Or uh, in place of this, we can, we, we should search some data access for users. So that is the best task. Manage reference data set, reference data set access for users. So this will not ask for any scope. That's the reason I have changed this. Here you will see data security context reference. Here I can select all. So once you select all, so this will become, this page will work for all security data access. It won't restrict to any of this. So now I want to assign one data access to one of the user. So let's suppose we are assigning for SCM underscore IMPL this user, which role, let's say buyer role. So once I select buyer role, I will get only the, uh, once I select the buyer role, I will, so I can assign the business unit. So let's say we assign to this SCM IMPL, the business unit like AK business unit and save and close. So now we want to search that whether this data access is there or not. So in username SCM, users with data access. First of all, you need to select this option, users with data access. And under this, then we will select SCM underscore IMPL, our user, and just click on search. And here, the username is SCM underscore IMPL, then role then role name, security context and the value. So we have assigned some AK kind of thing. So one more point, once you assign a data access, you need to log out and log in to get this implemented in your particular login. Otherwise you won't find that. But this is the process to assign a data access to any of the user. Thank you.